Hello, good morning, guys. Uh, I just got up, and uh, after I have posted my uh, last video saying that uh, John Magno has a bipolar disorder, okay, so this is a mental sickness that we have to be aware of. Because sometimes, like, we are still trying to understand what's wrong with this girl okay why was she capable of doing so and so that a normal person shouldn't be able to do okay so now we should understand the fact that this girl has a mental sickness okay i don't want you guys to misunderstand me this is not uh this is not to be in favor of her right now because all of a sudden i have stopped ranting okay against her I have stopped because as soon as I found out that this girl has a mental problem, meaning to say this is a disorder, a mental disorder that we really have to understand and to consider, okay? So, of course, um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys don't really know about this kind of mental sickness. So, I think it's much better that you have to... Uh, give yourself a chance or you know put some time for yourself in order to go and find out what is bipolar disorder means okay because i'm sure that there's a lot there on the internet especially on youtube i just want to give uh an answer to this person uh his name is pointer and uh he addressed this this message to me on youtube he said, I don't know what makes you soft-spoken instantly, Mystica, if you feel that maligno and during that kind of sickness and you feel sorry and feel pity on her condition. Well, that's okay. But one thing I'm sure, Jam Maligno is not sick. She knows what she's doing. It's very obvious. She, she's ranting everyone when she found out that someone made a remarks against Duterte. She is there, just like Moko Uson before that was Jam Maligno. Uh, jobs a terminator don't you see she's invited in Malacanang place because digong tuwang tuwa sa kanya ginagawa so alam na di ba ganyan ang ginagawa ng mga paid troll sa SOCMED once may mag comment ng against ng pagkukulang ng pamahalaan biglang sulpot agad si Jamaligno para mag run agad sa tao if you feel naawa ka sa kanya paano na naman yung tao na, nalipusta at ibinuli niya okay I repeat if you feel na aawa ka sa kanya, paano naman yung tayo nalipus at binuli niya? So, he's referring to Rabea Mateo, okay? At binuli, di ka naawa. At uh, ngayon, uh, nasi mong intindihin, nasi mong intindihin, okay? Siguro mali lang ng pagkasulat niya. Nasi mong intindihin si Jam Maligno ng iba yata, nag iba yata ang ihip ng hangin ngayon. Okay, hindi naman sa nag-iba ang ihip ng uh, hangin ngayon. So, I'm not uh, talking about being on her side right now. Ang point ko dito is, I am considering the fact that this girl has a mental problem. Okay, so, pag ang tao has got a mental problem, ibig sabihin na lahat ng sinasabi na o lahat ng mga ginagawa niya ay kailangan nating uh, seryosohin. Okay, para isang tao na once na may uh, mental defect, so, the only way na... Uh, i-treat ito is to put her at the right place, okay? Parang sa isang mental hospital or ilagay sa isang um, psychological uh, ano, uh, place or whatever para at least mai tra mai mai mabigyan ng treatment kung ano yung sickness niya, di ba? Uh, especially, katulad niyan, uh, he, kung sino yung doctor, I mean, he was able to to give her some treatment but i mean for sure as we know walang pagbabago di ba kasi when i found out that bipolar this is a sickness that there is no cure at all pero mabibigyan ito ng ano ng uh, ng time a chance to at least mabigyan ng uh, medication or whatever by giving her kung ano yung kinakailangan so ang mga nakaka Pag, ano, nakakapagbigay ng mga ganyang klaseng treatment are those psychologists or psychiatrists or 
kung sino man yung mga in charge sa mga ganong uh, klaseng mga sicknesses, okay? So, ang sa akin lang naman, I just want you to understand, guys, ang sa akin is just uh, a social awareness na kaya pala ganito itong tao na to is because she's got a mental problem. So, once a person's got a mental problem, we have to make sure na, uh, na kailangan ito ilagay sa tamang place. Obviously, the social media is not the right place for her kasi nga naman parang virus siya eh. Mas masawag pa sa isang very, very contagious virus na kung sakaling naikalat, nagkalat ang, ang klaseng ganyang tao, I mean, she tends to be very, very dangerous. It's not only uh, parang COVID-19 na it, it will affect our health physically, pero this is about a mental condition that could affect us mentally, psychologically. So, pag pinatulan natin, especially kay uh, Rabia Mateo, I mean, that would put her in danger as well. When I said that uh, this will put uh, Rabia Mateo in danger, meaning to say, if she's going to uh, take her seriously, meaning it might really affect her uh, personality or her mental condition, lalo lalo psychological condition kasi nga naman kahit sino nga naman yung taong binabas o kaya yung binibigyan talaga siya ng uh, hindi magandang treatment in, in terms of uh, putting her out in a, in a bad light ganun sa social media and of course kahit sabihin mo ga, kahit gaano ka tino yung tao I mean there's always a tendency na yung tao talaga ay uh, maa-affectahan okay ma, ma Uh, she will come to uh, feel also na she would be mentally or physically or uh, psychologically affected as well. Kahit sabihin mo kung gaano man, gaano man katatag o gaano man ka-strong itong si Rabea Mateo, if she is being bullied or she's being infested, okay, parang virus yun is she's being infested by a person like this person, Katulad ko, di ba, I never even thought that I could really put my time on this kind of person. Kasi nga naman, uh, there were uh, times before, there were chances that a lot of people has been asking me, sinasabi nila na, Uy, patulan mo nga itong si Jam Magno, I think you're gonna be a good match with her. And I think ikaw yung katapat niya. And I think you're the only person who's gonna put her to, uh, to rest. Meaning to say, magpapatahimik sa kanya. Well, the only way I could do right now is not to run against her but to um, uh, to warn people na kapag ganun ulit ang makikita nila and then all you have to do is just think that this person is actually somebody who's got a mental sickness somebody na talagang hindi talaga nasa tama yung kanyang pag-iisip ganun na lang ang isipin natin pero if ever na katulad yan, katulad sinabi nito ng worry nito is ginagamit daw siya uh, bilang troll ng uh, gobyerno most especially to uh, ano dito sa current government an ano natin so administration natin so katulad niyan they have considered her uh, probably her presence or they have considered her opinions or whatever because she's been uh, showing a lot of rants against kung sino yung mga nang babatiko sa ating uh, presidente or nang babatiko sa ating government. So, I just warn people na I am not here in order to defend her. I'm not here in order to be in favor of her. But I am here to warn you guys na itong tao na to is very dangerous. So, the only most important here is don't take her seriously. Okay? Don't take her seriously in the sense that uh, if ever she's gonna rant again against somebody or against Rabia or whatever, all you have to think is, do not take her seriously. Hindi kayo pa apekto, okay? Don't be affected to whatever she's saying, okay? Basi lagay nyo na lang sa utak nyo that this person is not suited in order to be out there and rant and uh, and give her opinions or whatever because she's got a tendency that would hurt everyone kung sino yung mga napipili niya na saktan emotionally, okay? Kasi nga naman, she doesn't have any right in order to just uh, attack somebody else's personality, especially kung ano yung uh, mga tao na she doesn't even know them 
uh, personally, pagkatapos as if like she knows already kung ano yung pagkatao na yung santao, which is not right, okay? The, uh, the, the thing here is she's doing her judgment differently. And every time that she says something and then she does it totally the opposite. Katulad niya siya, sabi niya na pro-Philippines daw siya, but then all of a sudden, andun pala siya, pro-Thailand naman pala because she's been encouraging everybody not to support Rabia but to support the uh, Thailand, okay, candidate. Hindi ko na alam ko na she's even mentioned before about her rants. I mean, every time that she was ranting before, and she, she has already mentioned about this Thailand girl. And of course, every time na sinasabi niya na, uh, kung ano yung sinasabi niya na, oh, I'm so glad that we have the, uh, that we women has the capability to express ourselves and uh, to be able to do what others do, especially kung sino man yung mga nandyan sa politics, mga ganong ganyan. And then as a matter of fact, I have learned that she even has, and uh, uh, you know, like, uh, she's got, she's got a, a plan, o kaya an ambition to be also, Ano ba yung sinabi niya na maging counselor daw siya? She wants to be a counselor, okay, uh, during her interview at the time that she was being uh, asked or she was being interviewed by this psychologist. Kung sino man yun, you have to uh, uh, just research kung ano yun. Kasi ilagay niyo lang jam magno tapos bipolar and then automatically that video that I have seen will just pop out, okay? And then you're gonna find out everything what I'm talking about na totoo pala talaga na itong jam magno is really somebody who's got a mental sickness and she's got a bipolar disorder that we really have to be aware of, okay? So, yun lang ang aking message sa inyo. Kailangan we have to be aware and then I'm just warning you I'm just warning you in the sense na don't take her seriously because this person is totally a dangerous person in terms of her mentality and in terms of how she judges people, in terms of how she makes all these rants against all these people that she doesn't even care kung ano yung mafe-feel nila, okay? So, kung ito yung tao na ginagamit nila uh, in politics, I am sure that this is not the right person that everybody has to listen to. Kasi nga naman, kung ang iniintindi natin o kaya ay the person is actually uh, guiding us, Hindi natin na, hindi natin alam na itong nag-guide sa atin o kaya ay uh, she thought that she's really caring about the government most especially to the president without realizing na itong tao na to I mean she's just doing this because she thought that it could really uh, help about you know about her plans or ambitions to become a uh, politician later on Diba parang ginagamit lang niya yung pagiging uh, very vocal niya pretending that she really cares about the government, she really cares about uh, Duterte and uh, yung ginagawa niya parang sinasabi ko na yung pagsisipsip na ganun. But on the other hand, what's behind her rants or what's behind all this? that she's been doing is something na talagang she really wants to put everybody in a total danger. In a total danger in the sense na once na the person will be affected, kasi nga naman kahit sabihin mo naman na, oh, magpakatatag ka, o kaya, oh, you are somebody who's really very strong, and I think you'll be okay, because I think, you know, hindi ka papadadaig dito sa tao na nag-ano, pero what if, kahit sabihin mo man, katulad nitong si Rabia, what if she's the kind of person na kahit sabihin mo na talagang, uh, hindi siya pa epekto, pero nga naman, she's worried about what the other people would say, di ba? Most especially those people who are really uh, caring about her most especially to her family and most especially to her friends to her loved ones ganun diba iba iba pa rin kasi ang mga opinions ng mga tao kahit sabihin natin na itong tao na to ay may uh, ano may may uh, may something something doon diba pero once kasi na nagsalita ito and then there's a tendency that all these people who are really listening to her pwede niyang ano eh, pwede niyang ma-infest, mabigyan ng ano eh, ng uh, parang uh, ang tawag dito, uh, 
parang malalason niya, di ba? It's just like a virus that could actually infest yung mga minds ng mga tao, which is really very, very dangerous, which is really very, very scary. Kasi kung minsan, napakadali kasi na manipulate, mamanipulate yung mga minds ng mga tao, especially if they are listening to this person na akala nila, she's really telling the truth or she's really telling something in order for you guys na mag-change yung mind ninyo, di ba? Katulad niyan, she was referring to uh, Rabia na yung ginawa daw ni Rabia na pagbigay ng kanyang answer, I mean, she automatically said na the purpose of Rabia doing that was to divide the people and not to unite the people. Si, iba yung pananaw niya eh. Akala niya, para sirain yung mga minds ng mga tao, para mag-divide kung ano, instead sana na magkaisa, instead sana na lahat ay uh, para bang sasaludo, okay, whatever the president is trying to say to everybody, lahat na lang ay yes, 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 yes na lang mga tao, okay, lahat na lang ay sasangayon o whatever. And what if there's a lot of people right there, lalong-lalo na sa mga kababian who really believes in gender equality. So, hindi natin pwedeng i-push kung ano yung paniniwala niya or kung ano yung paniniwala ng ating presidente that a girl who wants to be a leader is not capable of doing the job of a certain male or a certain uh, person na katulad niya or katulad ng uh, other people who are really uh, male, okay? Kasi kahit sino nga naman, it doesn't matter kung ano yung gender mo. You know, you may be a woman, you may be a man, or you may be a transgender, or you may be somebody else na talagang uh, kung ano man yung gender mo, kaya nga nandoon yung tinatawag na gender equality na pinaglalaban natin, di ba? For so many years. Kaya... Marami pa rin talaga ng mga politicians na uh, ano na dinis discriminate or whatever because of their gender pero hindi dapat talaga pan, uh, ano hindi ta dapat talaga manaig yung ganung paniniwala natin because we do believe that once we are um, we are we are people okay we are leaders who have the capability walang pwedeng magi-stop sa atin